don't need that do we? Bye. There's a protection so we don't need that either. Sure. Um, we don't need this. And that it's something we don't need either. Hello all. Um, well, the knife has finally arrived. Um, it's not this knife, obviously. Um, that's a multi-tool. Um, but I've got that just to open the actual parcel because I will do the um, unpacking of it because I'm actually quite interested. Well, it arrived. Um, it's actually much bigger than I thought, um, which is, I guess, not a bad thing. Because, um, you know, while you're in, in the forest, um, you don't need anyone to chop some wood or anything like that. It, it is quite handy um, to have a bigger blade. Um, I will obviously be using that knife mainly as a um, um, bit, something between, um, you know, chopping a bit of a wood and instead of getting hatchet, that should be alright with the small pieces of wood just to get it all prepared for the for the fire. Um, so obviously we're gonna open it. I got that from um, Contact Left Limited. Um, it was twenty nine ninety nine. That's supposed to be um, a copy of a British Army knife. So we're gonna open that first. It should have an eye in that multi tool. There you go. Oh, by the way, Peters, uh, Peters, thanks very much for once again um, confirming what what um, flower it was or a plant on the last video. It's really appreciated, mate. As always, you never fail. Um, so there we go. Loads of rubber and uh, loads of uh, this popping wrapping. Um, around it, so that's a good sign. I mean, that knife supposed to be made to last, so might not be necessary, but you know, it's better safe than sorry, isn't it? So yeah, when I was looking for a knife, there was obviously so many options out there, and some of so so-called bushcraft knives. I mean, the prices go to hundreds of pounds, and. Honestly, I'm not spending that much because, you know, at the end of the day, these knives, you can lose them easy. They can fall in the river or they can fall um, while you're out and about pick, uh, collecting wood. It's just, there's no point of spending that much money. Hence the reason I settled for this for now. Um, see how it goes. See how it goes. There you go. Oh, okay, so. That's brilliant. Got rid of the shift, obviously. Um, seems like you can attach it to the belt as normal, so that's one thing. There you go. Like I said, I've got that from uh, Contact Left Limited. Um, this seems to be made by Combat.UK Limited Military Products. So that's one thing. And the actual knife, I believe, is in. I just need to get it out. go yep it is quite um we don't need that do we bye um so that's the multi-tool and this is quite a size multi-tool uh, it, it's not one of the small ones as you can see that's my hand um and that's the multi-tool and that's the size of the box that the knife is in so i imagine it's going to be quite um, quite significant size which is great so we're gonna find the best way to open it um this knife there you go Let's see what it looks inside I'm, I'm really 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 hyper because i'm getting more and more stuff delivered i got the tarp to go over the uh, over my sleeping system speaking of sleeping system i got the um um landed um, sleeping bag yesterday so I we're gonna test it see how it is um, it's gonna like I said the first camping will be uh, for the night time will be with me mate Kenny 
will be in April. Um, I've got to Poland in March, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna get some stuff recorded there as well. And there is a knife. I don't know if there is anything in there. There is, uh, oh, this is just a protection, so we don't need that either. Sure. Um, we don't need this. And that is something we don't need either. So that's the knife, right? So, okay. Well, first impression is it's very heavy. It is much heavier than I thought, which is actually something I'm quite happy with. Because at the end of the day, um, it will be easier to chop the wood. Um, no, it's very nice. I mean, you can see nice matte black. Um, it's also sharp. Um, looks nice straight. The handle. Don't think it's wooden. It does got a, like a wooden. I haven't actually. I don't remember what was the um, description on it. Um, but it does look like it's a nice heavy knife. I mean, you can tell. It is pretty sharp uh, knife. It's got those rivets here, three rivets. But imagine if uh, the handle cracks, you can take them out and obviously replace them with uh, with the screws bolts um, if you want to make a new one but yeah it's a really nice looking knife I mean it's quite um, quite a size as well so this is my hand sorry this is my hand so you can see that that's gonna be a uh, around seven inches blade so yeah there is no damage on it whatsoever it's obviously new seems to be nicely made um, can attach cord to it, a paracord or something like that. So yeah, absolutely, very very chuffed with that. Um, feels nice. It's obviously, protect your fingers here in case if, if your hand slips. So that that's great. Um, yeah, feels nice. It does feel nice. It does feel definitely nice. Uh, nice knife. Open that as well. I tell you what, I'm gonna use these scissors because I brought them as well. So. I don't want them to feel miss out at all. There you go. It's done. So let's sort it. Uh, let's see. And yeah, that feels nice. That's um feels like the same material. Um canvas canvasish or something in there, I think. Yeah, it does feel like there is a bit of a, maybe both carton or something like that. No, it's not. That's what that obviously goes in. There you go. Secure it. There. And it does have this badge here. Tactical. Yeah, so really chuffed with that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, it's it wasn't expensive. Um gonna once again use those scissors just to take that off. So it wasn't expensive, I would say. Um for anything like bushcrafting or anything like that, it, for, for some stuff, it definitely the blade is far too big. Um I mean, it, it, it is quite substantial size, um, but having this might save you get an axe or hatchet um, if you don't need to chop a big logs of wood. Because obviously, I wouldn't try um, big logs of wood with with this knife. That no, it just wouldn't work. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, um, I can say. It's a really nicely made knife. It is sharp. You can feel it nice. It is sharp. See how the blade um, will last after um, after I will take it in the field. 
so I definitely will do another review on that knife um, after using it a few times but the initial initial reaction it's it's really it's really positive I mean yeah it's 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 a lovely feeling knife definitely the weight is nice um, it does obviously goes more on that side but that's good because it will be great for chopping anything so yeah $29.99 guys I got it from um, contact left limited um, if you're after a knife that is quite substantial size something for bushcraft um, or just go to the forest if you need to uh, get some wood or just a knife for the collection because it does look nice as well I mean it will look nice um, on the shelf then I can definitely recommend that um, just need a paracord for that obviously um, but yeah that's nicely stitched um, nicely made it's actually uh, same camo as my uh, 100 liters Bergen uh, which starts slowly filling up because obviously I, I'm whenever I get something I put that stuff straight in the backpack I'm that hyped about going out camping so yeah once again um for, for the time being i can recommend that uh, for the looks anyway i can definitely recommend that knife um, i will test it in the field but it does does look like a solid uh, solid knife just the weight of it it doesn't feel like it it's a cheap uh, metal or anything like that so yep all right guys that's for now um i will do some update at some point because um pretty much got got planned uh, i will do a day camp uh, just to test the gear i currently have and just gonna give a brief update i guess how the things are going um me personally i am getting better um mental health i think is improving because i'm so focused on, on on what i'm doing now with with this camping and that definitely help um so yeah i hope you are keeping well and uh, see you in the next episode. You all take care and look after those you love. Bye-bye.